what is going on youtube jay here from mj tech today we have something very cool here and that has to do with the car accessory i know a lot of you guys go crazy when i make this kind of video and well we have something that is fairly new to the market the oldest video that i've seen for this particular product is about a month old a month or two approximately so yes it is a fairly new product to the market and this is made by this company called mmb and this is a wireless carplay dongle they call it the dongle plus because well now it comes with mirroring link so yes you can stream whatever's on your phone you can have it display on your car stereo but this only works for factory units that come equipped with carplay it doesn't work with aftermarket units unfortunately so a couple of months back uh, on my Dodge Ram 1500 I tested the C play to air and it did work quite well but having this new one here uh, well I can say that things are 10 times better in terms of connectivity the speed and the overall performance of this little box is a lot better than the previous one that I had before so yes I would definitely say that this is recommended now keep in mind that we are testing this on a Toyota Camry 2018 with the factory CarPlay so I can't speak for other brands right now unless I get the opportunity opportunity to test it but so far on this 2018 Toyota Camry it is working quite well and we're going to be seeing that here in just a second so for right now let's go ahead and open this thing and see what uh, we got inside of the box so we get this little thing here that looks like a computer mouse and here we can see the MMB logo we got some vents here on the sides for cooling and also on the right hand side and on one side we got the regular usb port this is so that you can connect your uh, smartphone and also uh, the cool part about this um, carplay uh, wireless carplay box is that you can also insert uh, memory cards so if you have like a flash drive and you have movies um, that you want to watch uh, on your car you can do that here it supports uh, mp4 and avi and also you can do music which is something really really cool and that's because this one has like a little uh, operating system it's not android or anything sophisticated but it does have an operating system that will allow you to play again mp4 files and avi files as well so again very very cool and on the other side here we have the usb-c with a little light and a reset button as well and the light is so that you know when it has connected normally when you get a successful connection it turns solid blue and uh, this is where you will connect the little usb cable that comes inside of the box here let me show you you get two of them so you get the standard one and one will go connected to your car side of course now some vehicles they have usb-c already uh, from factory so you can use this one as well this is USB-C to USB-C, but in this case with the Camry 2018, we're gonna be using the USB-C to regular USB, and we're gonna connect this to the car, and then you will see the results. The process takes about, I calculated the time, it's about, it depends, I mean, if it's already set up, it takes about maybe 40 seconds to 45 seconds in order for you to see your uh, wireless CarPlay working, and uh, if you're setting it up for the first time, it takes about a minute, minute, 15 seconds so that it works uh, completely. And here we can see we have the manuals as well. They help a little bit, but I'll be showing you exactly how to set up the whole car. Again, if you're using a Toyota Camry 2018 or newer with the factory uh, uh, CarPlay, then you can follow this tutorial and it should work just fine. So with this being said, let's jump to the car and finish the video there. So this is the Toyota Camry that we are working on. This is a 2018 model. So we're gonna go ahead and jump right inside. And I have already tested here the dongle. And uh, of course, this is that MMV that we were talking about before. As you can tell, it's been connected already. And you do have the option also, as I mentioned before, to connect any uh, memory card on here like a usb flash drive and you can get it to work with uh, certain files i believe mp4 and avi for videos and then you can do all kinds of um, audio sounds as well again directly from here from this little box so very cool so the keys are here my phone is here i'm gonna go ahead and uh, get the car started so that way we can see how long it takes approximately i did the calculations and it takes about one minute and 20 seconds on this particular vehicle now keep in mind that different brands out there they're gonna act differently when it comes to the uh, connection speed so here we can see the warnings from factory and right now 
Let's see, I'm gonna turn on the AC, it's getting a little hot in here. So right now, the box is booting up. As you can tell, I have it connected here um, in the car's uh, USB port, and the box is already hooked up. So we're gonna give it a few seconds here. So again, overall, it takes a little while, and that's a little bit of a con. I wish that they could make these things work a little faster. I mean, at least with Toyota, like I said, with different cars, it's gonna act differently. Now the one that I used to have on my Dodge Ram, which was the first version, um, it was my first uh, wireless CarPlay dongle. That one uh, was quite fast with that particular vehicle, uh, but then sometimes after a while, uh, let's say an hour or two hours of using it, it has some crashes. But now with this one here, I'm not having any issues whatsoever. So right now you guys can see that again after about a minute, 15, a minute, 20 seconds approximately, we have here now CarPlay working. And here we have my phone you can see that again it has connected already which is right here so um, that's very very cool and so here we can of course listen to music we have you know the same stuff that you will have as you uh, plug it in here uh, directly and again the only difference now is that it is wireless as you guys can tell I have nothing else connected on here except this little box and it is working well. All right guys, so here I found a little better uh, shadow for the screen, I was getting a lot of glare from the sun. So now the second part of this video is gonna be about the phone cast, which is this right here. And so what we do is that, well we have to connect first of all to the Wi-Fi in order for this to work properly. Let me show you what it says if you're not connected to the Wi-Fi. So when you go here and uh, click on it, it's gonna ask you whether if it is a TV screen or phone screen, we click on phone screen and then we go into Apple Cast. you can see right there that it says not connected to any Wi-Fi network so as a result it is not going to work so what we do is that you can either connect to a home uh, network or we can simply just share your hotspot here with the radio so I have my hotspot right here and I just turned it on and now when you go here into the upper right hand side of the screen you can see that now it is connected to the Wi-Fi and it is using in fact my phone's network let me show you right there so you can see Jason's iPhone that is my iPhone now what we do next is uh, we go here into phone cast we do the same procedure as before on the upper side of the screen we click on phone screen and now we click on Apple cast right here and so you can see that now since we have the Wi-Fi connected it is giving us here the green light that we can go ahead now and connect to the uh, cast so for this let's go here into control center right here and you can see it right there and then we click on it and we just give it a few seconds and hopefully it'll connect fast enough there we go okay so as you guys can tell I am currently connected here now I tried using things like Netflix and other uh, streaming sites and they don't work this is mostly for either pictures or um, you know things of that nature uh, but it won't work with uh, with Netflix that already confirmed it so let's go here on YouTube and then let's search here for my channel we can watch uh, any video let's see uh, let's just do a uh, 4k video sample Let's just search for that. It's going to be very brief. So 4K video sample. And here, there we go. Let's click on the one, um, the second one here. And uh, well, actually, let's go ahead and play this uh, uh, Gemini Man uh, clip. I have done it before. So we click on that. Let's increase the volume here. Let's place it on landscape mode. And then it takes a minute for buffering. And boom we have it playing guys check that out and again I'm not using any wires no tricks this is the phone right here and we have the box right here connected to the USB port okay so there's no wires whatsoever right there we can hear the sound already let's go ahead and increase the volume here And again, if you guys want to watch, uh, yeah, it sounds really good in this car. My brother has a uh, a sound system installed in this.
this car and it's, it's quite good well he has the factory speakers but then he did a he has a, uh, a subwoofer installed back there and it makes the bass just so much better but anyways you guys get the idea everything is working well let's go ahead and exit out of here and uh, there we go it went back into the regular mirroring but once again if I try Netflix it doesn't work let me show you here right now I can definitely get into it maybe it'll work now who knows but let's click here on my brother's account and uh, let's see if it does work okay so watch now and let's see if that works army of the dead again via Netflix and as you guys can tell it goes back here so yes uh, when you're about to play anything on here um, regarding Netflix it won't work so now before you guys go back into CarPlay you have to keep in mind that in order for your CarPlay to work wirelessly on your iPhone you have to turn off the hotspot otherwise it is not going to connect correctly but yes guys like I said before if you want to play let's say videos on a little flash drive or you want to listen to your own music from a flash drive you can do so but nowadays having Bluetooth or even being able to connect your phone directly you really won't need this unless it is for movies so for that you can do the little USB dongle or the USB drive and uh, you simply connect it here okay and that's all you have to do with this being said thank you so much for watching let me know down below if you guys have any questions please like this video subscribe for more click on the bell icon and i'll see you guys on my next one